Hey guys, so even more lamp updates. So, some of my Amazon bulbs came today, and one of the things that came were these little tiny uh, 15 watt equivalent accent bulbs. I don't know if you can really see it. And I decided to try it in here instead of the flicker flame. And I actually think it's perfect. It doesn't like noticeably light up the ceiling to the point where there's a shadow. You know, there's a very faint shadow in that light, but look at how little of a difference it makes on the ceiling. There's a little bit of a nice, you know, line on the blinds there, just like there is from that light in the center and that light over there. But, you know, and it, it lights up the shade enough that the shade looks cool, but doesn't lose the, the uh, iridescence. So I actually think I prefer this to the flicker flame. And I think this is going to stay this way. Um, but I'm, I'm interested in input. I like input. So, you know, so far no one has weighed in. Feel free to weigh in and let me know if you think this should be Flicker Flame. Um, so, those are there now. Flicker Flame, I can't remember. I showed you those in the video yesterday, I think, right? And then that's Flicker Flame, yep. And then I added two over here in these, uh, I don't know what you call them. I was looking for these all day yesterday. And I went to Walmart and they had them for 20 bucks. So I was like, okay, great. You can barely see the flicker flame. I wish it was a little bit more noticeable. <clears throat> if you move the light away from it, it makes a little bit of a difference, but not much. And the uh, light looks better closer to the edge. If you turn the lights off, it's very noticeable. Let's see, actually, let's find the remote. Hold on. Uh, is it over here? Look at all my lighting mess from lighting projects. Nope, it's right here. Foyer, living room. So now you can see it's a lot more noticeable, and that's even with all the other kitchen lights on except for the air shadow. I just wanted something in here so that if you're, you know, if the dining room isn't devoid of ambiance. I thought about getting two more of these since these are also cheap. Um, but I thought that the dining room should have something different. Well, it's not technically, I don't know what you call it. You call this a dining room or a dinette or a kitchenette? Because it's, it's separated a little bit. There's wall dividers and stuff, but it's still... Anyhow, <clears throat> so I wanted some of these. I found them. I put the flicker flames in. <clears throat> what I would like to love to try to do is put a splitter in there that'll fit two bulbs. But I don't know if that would even work. So... We'll just leave it like this for now. You can it, there. It's a little bit noticeable. You can see it a little bit. And then, like I said, you turn the lights off, and it's a lot noticeable. Uh, so I did that. Um, okay. These were here yesterday. I showed you the walkway lights. I showed you that. I found this at the thrift store today. I added that there. It's just a big version of one of those uh, things. Also got flicker flame in it. And uh, I never really liked that you could walk in and just look into this empty space here and it just looked like nothing and you could see wires and it just didn't really seem like it made sense. So, um, yeah, this I thought was just something to, to, to class up that area a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I don't think Nia's even noticed. And she came home such a hard day at work and just fell right asleep in bed with a laptop right in her face. So, um I, if I took footage of that, I would literally be killed. Not like, oh, she'll kill me and I just get in trouble. No. I would be dead and all my fans would be burned. So, um, and then I managed to get this going down here. So, um, yeah, I put the uh, flicker flames in here. I uh, got a, uh, tele uh, not a plant stand, what did I use? A telephone stand. Put them at the thrift store for three bucks. And, uh, I'm a little bit, like, I want somebody to be like, that looks so amazing, because I'm still a little bit, like, on the fence about everything else is leaded glass, and then over here is flicker flame and white shades, and, um, <clears throat> it's not, like, but, I mean, where, this is a cool, really cool fixture, where else am I gonna put it? There's nowhere else in this house that makes sense, you know, it doesn't fit any other space, um, definitely doesn't fit in the living room, doesn't fit the aesthetic, or doesn't fit physically. Same with the dining room. There's no reason to have it in the bedroom or the garage or anything like that. Pretty much down here is the only option if I'm going to have it somewhere. And uh, I mean, I thought the foyer was a good idea, but I tried it. It was too big. So, you know, hopefully people will love it. 
Now, hopefully I'll get used to it because, again, it just throws me off a little bit. Everything over here is leaded glass, and then there's this. Um, but, you know, I figured I'd put a flicker flame theme in here to make it make more sense. There's a flicker flame behind the uh, monitor there. Um, one of my bulbs came from Amazon for this. It's a 25-watt equivalent filament LED. I think it's 2700 and uh, actually looks better in there than the chrome top. Gives just enough light on the piano, not quite so much on the wall. So that worked out well. I bought this at the thrift store today, and then I bought these shades. I think everything was, I think it was $3 each for the shades and $3 for this. See, I put two flicker flames in there. I was trying to do a thing like this. I thought maybe the coloring in these shades would be close enough to the leaded glass that that would... But it looked kind of weird in the window. I tried it, and it, it, did, it looked... I don't know. So I'd like to find a place for this, but or some other way to utilize it. But um Yeah, I'm not uh not full of ideas at the moment. So my disappointment from Amazon is that my uh spotlight bulbs came and they were not spotlights. They were almost identical to the dimmable LEDs I already have. Um the the shape of them was slightly different, but the light was the same, the Beam was the same, dim billy was the same, and they said spot in the li in the listing, but they did not say a beam uh, radius. What would you call that? The degrees of it. The um, they say beam angle, but what type of angle? I mean, anyhow. So a uh, spot is usually around 15 degrees. I've seen 10. I've seen 20. But you know, 25 is a narrow flood. So it's definitely, I, I say less than 20 is a spot, above 20 is a, is a flood. And these were definitely well above 20. So I was very disappointed because I really wanted to have, instead of like wide bits of light, I wanted to have a real dedicated spot on the real piano, a real dedicated spot on the organ. Maybe if I start hanging some stuff on the walls, some real dedicated spots there. So I'm going to send those back because I've got tons of these, so I don't need any more. And uh, I ordered some that actually said 15 degrees. They were, of course, twice the price. Um, so hopefully those will be here soon and I can try it, but that really disappointed me. So last night after I made the video, I worked on Abby's room, and I'm actually very pleased with the results. So I ended up with the up lights on the switch, and I put the, uh, wide 2700K, um, LEDs in there. Basically, I, I tried all the, okay, so I put everything in this layout, and this layout looked a lot better. The whole room looks a lot better. I organized the stuff in here a little bit better, and... You know, Abby's stuff is in neater, neater piles, and <clears throat> I had these pieces of wood that were just in here, and I can't remember if I showed that in the video last night. I don't think I did. Um, and uh, I'm so tired from all the things going on that I really can't remember. So I put the pieces of wood as a backdrop to kind of warm up the, uh, uh, the light some, except for that light, which is already really warm. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think I did video this, actually. I did an addendum. So I'm actually very pleased with how this turned out. Um, the lights are dimmed right now, and if I showed them last night, I don't need to show you again. But it's just a nice, pleasant light in here with, you know, both options. And so I don't think Abby's old enough to care. But, um, like, Abby, isn't the light in here pleasant? Yes, Dad. I mean, she'll say yes just because that's what I, she knows that's what I want to hear. But I don't think it makes a difference to her. And if it does, she wouldn't say. Um, so, yeah. That's where we're at with all the various lighting and accent lighting and stuff like that. And, uh, like I said, I hope that, uh, you know, I'd love to put something there, but I just couldn't figure, I tried putting that little lighted candle there, and I tried running the cord down and into one of the adjacent rooms, and it was too obvious, and I didn't like it, and, yeah, so. Yeah, I'd like to put something there, but I guess oh, if I can get an actual spot bulb and spotlight the Prince clock, that'd be all the better. Um, this Prince deserves all the spotlights in the world. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased with how that came out. I actually have a replacement shade, or a couple of replacement shades on their way to me, because one of these is missing and another one is cracked and so on and so forth. But I just put a generic ceiling fan shade in it, and <laughs> if, if I didn't have the replacement shades on the way to me, I think I'd be fine with this. So, um, yeah, this is the flicker flame section. Those, the little light there, and, I mean, I've got... I've got all those night light, LED nightlight bulbs, and I could go that route instead, but I, you know, I got the flicker flames to do this. So, um, you know, hopefully, uh, 
Hopefully other people like it as much as I do. You know. I, I do installs that I enjoy mostly for myself, but I also do them for other people too. You know, you put up a really nice install on the internet, you put up a video, and it gets lots of hits. People really like it, and people really, you know. So it's important to me. You know, I don't do this just for me. Um, people visit your house and think it's impressive and stuff like that, you know. Just like when I visit my in-laws and all the little light stuff that they have, and I really enjoy it. I'm sure they did it mostly for them, but I'm sure, you know, they're flattered that I like it, so... We'll see. Um, as far as fans go, I think everything I'm everything's staying for now. I I have no desire to change the slim line in the kitchen yet. I like it. I still like it. I don't even notice the veranda at the top of the stairs anymore. Um, yeah. So I mean, I will have an idea. If anybody has any suggestions, my favorite kind of suggestion is where I can fit another light. Um, but. Uh, yeah, hopefully I won't take up too much storage space with this thing there because I was, I was going to need all those surfaces to set stuff, set stuff on that top shelf. But I don't want it to look a mess. And I was, you know, was going to store guitars behind the chair, but this is cooler. Um, but hopefully I, I still have to stash guitars in here. So, you know, it'll be a little bit guitar-y mess in here when I get everything put in place. But, you know, there are worse things than rooms with guitars in them. I actually really love my shoe display. It's not all my shoes, just all the ones that are in boxes. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm still wearing my good glasses. I should take those off. There's no way to turn the camera around, otherwise I'd show you what I look like without glasses. I had to dress up earlier today, so I, I have a different set of glasses that I wear when I dress up, and I try to keep those in a lot better shape. I try not to, like, get paint and WD-40 on them, for example. So now, uh, now I can't see, so if there's anything left to show you. Oh, I was going to show you some bulbs. There were some bulbs I was going to show you. Okay, so here's the box that my, um, the one that I really liked that came today. Does it say? 2 watt Edison dimmable. That's all it says. G45. It's not the candelabra base, though. It's the full base version. And then there's my, uh, I still got one chrome top. This is my only LED type A chrome top. All the other ones are the big globes. But I have this, and uh, I hope to find a home for it somewhere where it can be appreciated. I wonder what it would look like in this. Oh, it can't, because there's a, there's a con condolabola. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I've showed you all the things. I'm going to run to Walmart and see if they have any... Because Walmart's been stepping their LED game up. They've had a... They haven't necessarily had a better selection than Menards, but they've had some specialty stuff that Menards hasn't had. So I'm going to go there and see if they have... Um, if they have anything that I can use as spotlights just until the Amazon ones come. And then either keep them or return them when the Amazon ones come. So... Yeah, that's about all I have left to do as far as my lighting projects. Other than that, they're pretty much done. I'm still looking for a better shade for that, but if I don't find one, that'll that'll keep me for now. And, uh, yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to your comments, so uh, thanks for your input. Thanks for watching.